six minutes after eight it's wednesday the sign is already on the door it reads financial clinic the doctor is in the house daktari wamfuko <laughs> and so if you have any financial questions especially about investing that's what we're going to be looking at today this whole month we get to hang out every wednesday with gold avenue africa in studio with me founder managing director gold avenue africa samuel kuria otherwise known to us as sk blue how are you doing very well very well karibu kenya karibu kenya i've been to kenya yes hey great mm? so even before we get into a discussion for the sake of those who may not have interacted with gold avenue africa before mm-hmm. who is gold avenue africa and what are you guys all about gold avenue africa is an investment company under the asset class called private equity it's important to mention that so that we uh, demystify and partition so that we may understand that first they there is startup companies mm-hmm. and second they are uh, growth based companies so startups are basically ideas that are uh, have the potential to to become a success mm-hmm. Growth companies are not ideas they are now established institutions that have identified a demand and the demand basically exceeds their capacity to supply and therefore they need a private equity investor like Gold Avenue Africa to inject so that they may supply the demand mm-hmm. so ideally what we do is consolidate resources from two sets of investors private investors and institutional investors at the end of every year we give a return on investment two categories for uh, a minimum of 200,000 Kenyan mm-hmm. private investors are able to get 16% per annum who is a private investor a private investor would be an individual uh, a chama a family um, but it's important to mention that the government according to the private placement act mm-hmm. categorizes this person as an individual who can be able to put aside 100,000 shillings okay this is someone who has saved before mm-hmm. who has had a fixed deposit probably who's experienced the whole chama uh, uh, engagement mm-hmm. therefore they are, dis- uh, are, are actually uh, described as sophisticated investors okay yeah okay So that's the first category yes. private investors the other So ones? the other category institutional investors mm. so this uh, as well in two uh, portions first is local mm-hmm. the second one is uh, institutional investors that are from a global scope Okay yeah Okay so today we want to focus about discipline correct yeah you know so, so, so when we hear discipline nafikia yeah, discipline near gym peke yake and no pain no gain yeah <laughs> what what's the connection between discipline and investing invest investment discipline um we have to realize that the 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 person as comprised uh when we speak of an investor is basically split into three oh. and speak uh, and and the splitting into three basically brings out the element of different disciplines okay so there is the personal mind mm-hmm. there is the social mind and there is the economic mind mm. yeah so sometimes we we forget to switch those hats so the personal mind basically brings us to the place of an individual's discipline to grow and to be valuable Sometimes you meet people and you wonder how is it that no one wants to hang around them. <laughs> <laughs> and yet yeah. conversely you get the other people who everyone just wants to hear them. What are to to hear? Someone was speaking about um, Jesus speaking to 5000 men. Yeah. and they said that was excluding women yes so women plus children probably you're speaking to 15000 people yes and 15000 people without a microphone the probability is not everyone could hear everything <laughs> yeah <laughs> but because he was a man of value mm-hmm. they just wanted to be around if i get a word itakuwa ni sawa yes who knows probably they were saying uh, probably he was speaking and the first row would tell the second row the third row <laughs> 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 but because he was a man of value mm-hmm. 
value is attractive and the concept of discipline is basically to grow value around yourself and the first value is to engage your mind in reading there's something you said there in passing but i think it's a very powerful statement mm-hmm. you've said that value is attractive yes and i think sometimes a good number of us don't even have an idea what value will bring to the table correct yeah and therefore people take advantage of, of us, us. yes, yes. But we have to be people of value. Mm-hmm. We have to, as investors, we have to know you're not coming to the table as an inferior, but you're coming to the table as a contributor. Mm. Yeah. So we get raw deals because we don't see ourselves as valuable contributors on the table. Yeah. Yeah. Does that have anything to do with uh, self-worth and how I perceive myself and my self-image? Yes, it does. But self-worth is 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 something that, as much as it is intrinsic, uh-huh. we are the ones to call it to life. Yes. Yeah. So we have to call it to life by what we feed. So let me give a quick uh, mm-hmm. uh, illustration. So a few scientists were called together and they were told, can you please explain the phenomenon of a human mind in English? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> and not in physics or in science. Yeah. And they they went consolidated and came back and said, "Okay, we have an analogy." And this is the analogy. There are three participants on the table. Mm-hmm. Number 1, there is a diplomat. Number 2, there is a gorilla. Yeah. And number 3, there is a computer. Mm-hmm. So the the diplomat is the conscious mind. The gorilla is the emotional mind, <laughs> and the diplomat is the subconscious mind. And they said, "For them to be able to run together there has to be a leader but for there to be a leader mm-hmm. there has to be one to subdue the other yeah so either the gorilla has to subdue the diplomat yes or the diplomat subdues the gorilla then takes over the computer <laughs> so <laughs> so now yeah um the the analogy basically was saying if you don't intentionally as the con- with your conscious mind mm-hmm. subdue your feelings and the, your, your emotional mind mm-hmm. through discipline your gorilla yes. will take over your mind yes so the gorilla is the mind of your mind Ooh. and feeding ourselves random content by default feeds the gorilla that's why someone says he has a rage problem he has an anger issue mm-hmm. and anger is not something that you choose to have it's something that you bust out ni kama damu imepasuka damu imepasuka unashangaa mimi nimemnyonga tu mimi hata siji kumeenda lakini kabla ipasuke uliijaza uliijaza so we have to intentionally then mm-hmm. get to feed the diplomat and they say program the computer and by default the gorilla will starve so meaning program your subconscious mind mm-hmm. through intentional feeding of content that is relevant that is key that is edifying that's why the bible as well say meditate upon it day and night yeah. and you shall be careful to follow everything yes. that is written in it and you shall be prosperous and successful it's a principle we have to feed our minds to a place where we achieve the principle that says we become what we think about mm. as a man thinketh so, so is, is he. he exactly that, that becomes a challenge in this day and age where I, I i tend to think that entertainment is what is driving the world yes you know because there's money in entertainment and you know sometimes i i i, I look back and i think man all those hours i've wasted just sitting behind the screen watching a series for like 12 hours yeah. that finished a book correct yeah yeah so so entertainment is very targeted so the days of uh, advertising has been shifting with time mm-hmm. so now we we used to do outright advertising then we have now gone into subliminal advertising, advertising yes so subliminal advertising is things like product placement. You watch a movie, they don't need to put a billboard there, mm-hmm. but 
there is a nice phone yes. on on the desk there is a nice watch that this guy is having oh, there's a particular brand of cars that is being exactly. driven in that movie yeah yeah, yeah. there is a ringtone that we always hear in all oh, all not movies. The movies yes <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. sublim- subliminal mm-hmm. and this is the fo- unfortunate thing subliminal marketing has now crossed over into our our children's shoes mm-hmm. yeah so we are not only selling products through subliminal but now agendas are being pushed through, through subliminal, subliminal yeah. so let me let me give a, a an, an example an example would be um gay rights gay mm-hmm. um agendas <clears throat> Nowadays, uh, this is the shocking statistic about uh, content. Mm. 75% of the movies sponsored are sponsored by gay institutions. Yes. So they are consolidating their money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they are consolidating their money to push an agenda because they are coming from a set of values. Yes. So unless ourselves we build a set of values through discipline mm-hmm. then consolidate our money and push the right agenda which is the kingdom agenda yeah then to nahata wow do you have any questions for us we've only we've only touched one today we're focusing on on discipline and investment you know, sometimes when you hear investment you think it's just money how much money do i have but i love what sk blue is talking to us today it's not just about the money it also it's also about the mind and i guess that's why people keep saying uh that uh you know if 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 a millionaire loses everything they have exactly. give them another year or two they will rebuild it exactly and they say as well yeah if we take all the money and distribute to everyone equally yes in 60 days it mm-hmm. will be back in the hands of the millionaires 60 days yeah are you for real yeah <laughs> <laughs> because of what is in between the years because it's a mind yeah it's a mind wow. so so the mind attracts uh basically the mind would be able to create solutions mm-hmm. solutions mm-hmm. because when you give everyone the money let's assume we give everyone the money there be so many problems and the money will lose value all of a sudden so everyone will start complaining you gave us all this paper they won't call it money anymore yeah give us all this paper is it, it just doesn't help we don't have food we don't have we can't get to town everyone has the same sort of paper yeah just come take my paper try transport me to town <laughs> give me something to eat take a gunia of this thing yes i don't really need it in 60 days it will all be back because these guys are intrinsically built to solve solu- to bring solutions to solve problems mm. and they will solve and get rewarded always so the first place we need to begin if i'm thinking of investing is is the mind. mind yeah they say there are three things that make someone uh, a great investors three m's mm. money mind method where we are writing notes at peleke pole pole sio mbio hivi vile atupeleka michael odipo tunge from kisumu thank you so much for your sms this morning seems like you've already begun the classes yes the classes you guys were putting together it seems like you've already begun them on yeah, because we're already tush- taking notes roll. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's interesting i think and even uh the silent partner in this show who's yes. listening and she doesn't want to talk nyabura in studio with us and today. Two notes. and i two notes there's something she said and and i think it's true i think as christians and even believers you know we we, we need to get the right perspective of money yes. some of us are too afraid of it we think yes. it's evil some of us think it's everything we are running after it and forgetting other things yes and so i love the mind shift that you're bringing in even as we talk about this so this is a place of the mind and we need to invest in ourselves correct uh-uh. that this is where now your class comes in yes this talk. is where the class the class basically the first thing we want to speak in the class is the mindset of an investor mm-hmm. unless we get the mindset of an investor and the function of money then we miss the whole thing because mm-hmm. the mindset of an investor is to add value yeah. add value in three ways and that's what we are talking about today first is 
the personal mind the personal mind the second one is the social mind because we don't live alone we live in a society mm. we have to contribute in a society and god is relational yes and society is about relationships imambo ya kukua kwa apartment na uwezi ongelesha the neighbor it it beats the purpose yeah, yeah. because we are social beings yeah tv is enough <laughs> 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 and thirdly economics we have a responsibility to build infrastructure to build structures that can outlast ourselves structures that will be there for our children's children's children because it's a generational game and the only way to sustain a generation is through economics mm. so back to the beginning we yeah. have to bring ourselves to the other thing which is what is money for or what is even money what is money in the first exactly place? so so there is a function of money and the function of money is called the double coincidence of wants eh yeah no wonder what deep one asema utupeleke pole pole, pole. <laughs> at the double what the double coincidence of wants fafanua is the is the is why money was built mm-hmm. so double coincidence of wants is when we were back in the butter days butter trade yes What we used to do is na kamna miwa zangu wewe una kamna ndizi. Mhm. Mimi na watu wangu tumekula miwa yani tumechoka nazo. Tumechoka nazo. So you give me your bananas, I give you some of my miwas. Yes. Then we go to a market, we find okay, there are other people with cassavas, uh-huh. there are other people with shoes, there are other people with some other things. Yeah. So the coincidence was so low the probability that you would go to a market and find a guy who wants what you have and you have what they want yes was so low to a point people are going to the market and going back home with their things then they spoil then they start again mm. so they needed a solution to solve double coincidence of wants aha so money was made So if you come with a cassava and you want a mango you want a banana it doesn't really matter money was solving that so, that, that problem. problem So money the other function of money is that money is basically a transporter of trust mm-hmm. Basically coming to you and saying eh hey, I want a banana but since I trust the banana is good she can do mm. Yeah So so in in real sense to this day I write you a check. Yeah. Since I believe the check is good, later. Yeah. But it's actually not money in the it's real sense. It's not money in the real sense. Yeah. Yes. So money is just a tool to solve two fundamental issues. Double coincidence of once mm-hmm. to acha kuenda soko tupate kila mtu. Enilisha sample hizo guavas. Stack is in. Eh. Leo nataka nyanya. Nataka nyanya. Yeah. Ama leo mtoto wangu ni msik. Nataka, yeah. nataka dawa. Yeah. But all I have is miwa. Yeah. We'll extend the offer for you. Exactly. Yes. It sorts double coincidence of once and second it's a it's a switch for trust. Mm-hmm. So in the in the global economy we actually have uh the actual money is 3 trillion 3 trillion 3 trillion but the 3 trillion 3 trillion dollars, dollars. Okay. yeah 3 mm-hmm. trillion dollars but the money revolving around virtually yeah is 75 trillion dollars what so in the real sense the money doesn't exist <laughs> so even the money that is in the bank doesn't yeah, exist. Yeah. So we have a fraction of the money that we claim to have. So you have some money on your Mpesa. Yeah. But it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Exactly. Because we we don't have that money and we don't have the capacity to have that money. Double coincident of once says we will all not call that money at the same at time. At the same time. Oh. <laughs> Ah, yes. So if I have a, a, yes. a, a bag of if I if I'm the bank mm-hmm. and I am serving 20 people yeah I don't need 20 bob I need 5 bob because not all 20 will ask for it at the same time double coincident of ones So we have to understand that and break the myth that says mm-hmm. that the people who progress in life wako na gunia ya do they they have a strong room in their houses yeah. we have to start there mm-hmm. if we are to invest and grow so we invest to grow value 
because we are rewarded for the value we create. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I'm beginning to agree with with my 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 friend <laughs> Michael or or Dipo Otunge. Uh, yeah, pole pole. <laughs> we invest. Yes. To do what value? To grow value. Not to grow money. Not to grow money. Money has Ooh. nothing to do with anything. I think then that's where a lot of us miss it. Because a lot of us go into the investment to grow money and not to grow value. We grow value because we are rewarded for value. We are not rewarded for money. So in Mesopotamia, where money began. So, what do you want to Clay tablet. Yes. The clay tablet was Is written. Tablet is the tablets the tablet scissor size? <laughs> <laughs> what is a clay? <laughs> so clay tablet. So it was it was written for the holder of this clay tablet. Reward them with fifteen bags of barley. Mm-hmm. When I get yeah. Mm. So you would go give value. Probably you'd limit the land mm-hmm. before the barley would grow. Yeah. Then they would give you a clay tablet. Mm-hmm. Squille bali it a grow. Go to any market yeah. and show this cl- t- clay, clay tablet. tablet yeah. And you have a line of bali, a line of credit worth bali. Mm. They didn't give you money. Yeah. They give you an instrument to show promise to pay. Yes. Yeah. Because the value is there. The value is there. So we invest to grow value and people reward us for value they say people who succeed either have solved few big problems or multiple small problems so in the real sense we can actually survive without money Mm -hmm. because money if there is no double coincidence of once once, then we don't really need Need money money. Mm -hmm. that's why we do service for service Oh yeah. Sinyo na me. Nikufanyie hivi. Nikuge plate ya dondo. Ndio safi. Yes. It's the same same. There is yeah, no coincidence. Food. Yeah. Do you need your car washed. Let's exchange. We yeah. don't need money. Because uh, we don't have an issue of double coincidence of once. Yeah. So money only comes when we can't shake hands. Mm-hmm. Because we don't have what we both need. Wow. So when we are coming into a space of investment, the idea is to create a pipe that would drip value for a long time, for generations. Mm-hmm. Our kids will get the tap dripping yeah. and they'll feed from that and their kids will feed from that and their kids' kids will f- feed from that. But it's not a tap that drips money. Uh-uh. A tap that drips value. And people will reward them for a lifetime. This is why I'm signing up for this class. I don't know what, <laughs> what, what you're waiting for. We, we need to sign up for the class of investors. Oh, Irene from Buru is saying, yes, I am coming for the class. Where did you get schooled? You're so knowledgeable. And Irene is asking, Mimi Nataka, could you right now? How do I register for this class? Yo, <laughs> yo. What can you answer the first one? Yeah. Your story is discipline our show, man. Your story, it has to be intentional. Uh-huh. Yeah. We have to get to a point where we now say the proof of desire is pursuit. Kila mdo anda kwa mdosi, but the proof of desire is pursuit. Is pursuit. Kwa mdosi na unakatumbe lia TV kiyo na tufutu series baka. Baka ngwari. Chabidi okunje shati. Ha yeah what and for the class probably uh let me say www.goldavenueafrica.com engage us mm. uh the class is 30 g's for this first month uh of easter ju ju anafufuka ju anafufuka to me decide kupeana a complimentary uh class yeah yeah so the class is thirty thousand for our investors we discount it down to fifteen thousand mm-hmm. for this first month uh we we are giving a complimentary uh class but the thing is your currency is coming with a potential investor mm. so double coincidence of once tonight delete for this first class <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Double two three sixteen is the SMS line. WhatsApp number zero seven eight six three sixteen three sixteen. My good friend Phil Moas, how are you doing? And I said, Mamuambi SK blue a kuji pole pole. And then there's another one who's saying, Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. He showed the Kwagana recording. Kalawi may sharang. Where Ed not to me a Kalamugani, Ed, no a pencil. Financial clinic. <laughs> this is an interesting clinic. Today people are taking notes in the clinic. You imagine going to a clinic. Now I'm going to on Andika notes. Doctor and our foundation symptoms. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is what you look out for. Samson from Kisi town, Hujambo Kaka. Yeah, we need bananas. <laughs> Say it is true. If you're a man of value, people will just want to buy you lunch to visit them so that they can listen to you. They invite you to speak in the airwaves, just like that financial doctor. <laughs> this is Samson from KC. Samson, thank you very much uh, for tuning in. Remember, once again, sign up for this class, class of investors. When is the class beginning? The class is beginning 28th. So we have a weekday class mm-hmm. and we have a weekend class. Weekday, Wednesday evening mm-hmm. uh, for two and a half hours from six. to chai, aina mambo, na... A morning class on Saturday Ngoare yeah. as well will we'll serve breakfast uh, but the idea is two things to bring people to the mindset of an investor where to invest how to invest mm-hmm. um, and to bring as well like minds together for people to be able as well to share value invest together yes do business together because um, iron sharpens iron very true mm. very true you talked about uh the economic mindset or what, what was Correct. it? Correct. Yeah. So social mindset. Yes. Then economic mindset. Uh-huh. So social mindset is basically getting people to appreciate that we live in a society. Mm-hmm. Social mindset has to start from your household outwards. Mm-hmm. So we have to intentionally now see the correlation of marriages to money mm. or to, in, to investment. Yeah. Um, charity begins at home. So we have built an attitude of being busy, but busy is actually a weakness. Oh. Active is not necessarily productivity. Very true. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, when you talk to successful people, most of them, and you ask them, ah, okay, you're quite busy. They say, no, I'm not busy. Mm-hmm. I'm unavailable. Mm. Yeah. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> Busy is you're bogged down by tasks. Mm-hmm. Unavailable is I'm intentionally pulled out from the, from the noise. From the noise. Yeah. Because the idea is to work from a place of stillness. Yeah. When we work from a place of rest, mm-hmm. then we are more productive. That is very biblical. Yeah. Mm. Actually, in, in when when God was creating, there's something very intricate that sometimes we miss. Mm-hmm. It says when God created whatever he created in all the days, but when he created, let's say, the birds, it says then night, then day, mm-hmm. and it was the first day. Yeah. He started from rest, then work, mm. not from work, then, then crashing. Re- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So for us, we work, then we crash. Mm. But the concept of kingdom is basically to start from a place of rest. rest. Be still and know. Uh-huh. Yeah. So we have to start from that place. And that place of rest is a place of thought. Meditate upon it day and night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a place of thought. Ponder upon these words. Yeah. Mary pondered what she was told about the sun that she would bear. Yeah. yeah. It's a place of rest and thought. Because when we are told, guard your heart, because it's the... Uh, from it springs, from it the, issues springs of life. the issues of life. Yeah. It's not the flesh. It's not the physical... Heart. Yeah. Because yeah, that's, that's basically... A, a, it's flesh, yeah? Yeah. Ninyama flani hapo. That's not what he's talking about. Yes. He's talking about the heart of your mind. Exactly. Yeah. And the heart of your mind, that's where the wellsprings of life come from. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so important for us to start from that place of knowing. Discipleship 
which is uh, the source of the word discipline mm-hmm. has to start from your household yeah so you disciple your your spouse then disciple your kids then they will spill it over as we clone Christ our kids and our wives and yeah. our husband clone us then they are cloned by their friends mm-hmm. and the fire goes on and on and on as 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 that because there's a principle that says about the seven mountains of influence mm-hmm. and in the seven mountains of influence they say every mountain has the power to control a generation 100 years plus minus yeah and there are many mountains <laughs> on it mm-hmm. number one it's as as arts and entertainment media and uh, joint time when me and them view sana but i just <laughs> family mm-hmm. business uh, governance religion the important thing about family is we miss it as a mountain mm-hmm. but family this is where curses or blessings begin for a generation mm. so for 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 us we have to realize the people who have sent us to the marketplace are fast our spouses our kids then we spill it over to our society mm-hmm. we have to understand that our society basically this are uh, this is an extension of our household yeah yeah so we have to care when someone is sick we have to care when someone is uh, ailing when someone is um, we have to care because we are part of the same household and when we come from that attitude mm-hmm. then we invest that's why nowadays people are speaking about social enterprise yeah yeah it's doing good while doing doing well while doing good mm. we have to be able to put our money where we will change the society i w- i will give a good example that currently we are engaging aggressively at gold avenue africa mm-hmm. uh we are doing solar aggressively and we are doing grid solar which is to be sold to kplc and apart from that we are doing rooftop solar yeah. rooftop solar uh has two categories people who have electricity bills above a million shillings mm-hmm. and people who have electricity bills below a million shillings above a million shillings we have been able to get a partnership with yingli solar mm-hmm. they are the biggest solar providers across africa and we are able to put solar on top of uh, the buildings of manufacturers at no cost and they basically pay electricity bill that is 20% less wow as that has been catching momentum mm-hmm. we have been working very hard to get to serve the lower demographic yes yeah because what to wakulima wadogo wamekuwa kusema na sisi eh mimi niko na borehole mdanisaidiaje we have a school how mm. will we, you help us yeah. we we are coming from that place where mm. we need to realize that we have to build solutions for these guys as electricity is going up we need to build solutions because we are part of that household yeah the larger household so i'm grateful and glad to announce that currently now we have found funding mm-hmm. for wakulima wadogo mm-hmm. for them they can be able to access a line of credit uh through us mm-hmm. to basically uh put solar on their rooftops solar on their shops solar on their schools hospitals boreholes uh wind windmills uh, mm. uh yeah so we've got and people work on easy to zakusia gamaindi yeah yeah in western kenya yes my people uh, yes <laughs> so now we have a solution for that yeah and mentioning that is basically just to bring us to the point of this is an extension of our household we are one people yes and as investors we need to think from a point of one people creating solutions for our people and understand what want to go back to a grow do yeah i i get it it's it's coming from the concept of investment but the probability that you will win is 1% mm-hmm. because it's built from an algorithm algorithms are built with a formula and a ratio mm-hmm. and the ratio is normally for every uh, 100000 that is made 1000 is given out yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what's the probability to go up yeah so i'm bringing us to the point of now social mind let's think socially mm. let's think in jamii moja man and you know if we thought that 
a lot of the problems we're experiencing as communities and as a nation, we would be able to solve them and not wait for Serikali's idea. Eh. You know, it's like now that God has blessed us with rain. It's Correct. becoming a curse to some people. Mm. Yeah, beca- not because the rain was really that much, but because there's a problem. But instead of us coming together to see how can we solve it, yeah, we are complaining or we are part of the problem. Yes, yeah, we are clogging our drainages, mm-hmm. and then when it, it floods, we are the same ones who are complaining. This government, this government, yeah, yeah, social mind, social mind. Mm. I, I become my brother's keeper. Exactly, it's biblical, it's prudent, wow. it's wise. <clears throat> because you don't want to be the the only guy when you're mepenya utanyongwa that is so true yeah you don't want to stand out like that if I'm the only like one that, who has we'll come after you but if I ensure I have and you have you know it's interesting you've reminded me of a story I once shared in my devotion of this guy who had a, a rice farm lakini ilikuwa kwa mteremko uh-huh. Yeah. So him, he was at, his farm was at the top, mm-hmm. and then his neighbor's farm was below. Uh-huh. And so he would fill his rice paddock with water. You know the way they grow rice. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> but akiam kanguare anapata neiba litoboa majiote katika kwake. And so he kept getting angry. So one day he goes to his pastor to explain his problem, and the pastor says your problem is very simple. Mm-hmm. Fill your neighbor's paddock first, then fill yours. Nice. Problem solved. Instead of filling yours every day, every day, every day, nice. fill your neighbor's Start first. His. Start with his. Very true. Yeah. If you sort him out, you will sort yourself out. Exactly. If you don't sort him out, you're, you're you will, stranded. You're stranded. Yeah. Very true. The same thing you're, you're talking to us about. Yeah. So social mind. So economic mind now is slightly different. <laughs> yeah. So economic mind now is coming to the place of now looking at at growth, resource growth, money growth, wealth growth mm-hmm. intentionally. So when everyone is saying I want to make money, but at the end of the day we have to look at the fundamentals of making money. Mm-hmm. So let me give you a quick story. So I I I I traveled to to do uh fundraising. Mm-hmm. So I travel so I go to the UK I meet this gentleman. He says okay great you're here let's see what you have. Yeah. So I tell them I pitch all mm-hmm. all I could. Mm-hmm. They said it sounds like a business. So I said of course it's a it's business. A business yeah. yeah. What do you mean it's a business? He said it's unfortunate. Oh. Yeah. Why? He said I don't do business. I make money. And yours sounds like a business. So I said, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't follow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he said, let me tell you something that you will not be told in your generation. Uh-huh. There are two people. There's a businessman and there's a money maker. Mm-hmm. Let me explain who a businessman is. Number one, they're always fatigued. Who? The businessman. The businessman. Mm-hmm. Number two, they're never home. <laughs> Number three, they are riding on fumes. Oh my goodness. And number four, there's a likelihood that their business will fail. Eh? Uh-huh. So <laughs> so I asked, so what about the other guy? What about the other guy, the, the money maker? The money maker. Yeah. Said money maker number 1. They're invisible. Ooh. Yeah. They don't care to own, they care to access. Number 2, they build pipes that drip water and funnel down into 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 their tank mm-hmm. yeah and the drips just need to come in trickles trickles for a lifetime so he said you have the potential to be a money maker but you have bogged yourself down to be a businessman what so he said you are restricted by your thinking mm. go rethink solve a problem and build a pipe that will feed your children's children's children wow nilirudi tu what else do you do you yeah, just yeah. To back to the drawing board yeah and i'm telling you that changed my life completely 
at this stage we don't care to build businesses to own we build them to sell them and we only care to build pipes and that's what gold avenue africa is bringing to the population come let's build a pipe let's build a pipe the water let's will keep, just keep trickling. exactly passively they say discipline is about mastery mm mm-hmm. and mastery is basically being able to do the time and master a craft mm mm-hmm. we have done time we master we have mastered this craft people ask how is it that jews we don't know a broke jew and the answer is simple they specialize wow you'll never find a jew chini ya gari akijimekia gari they specialize you'll never find them cutting grass they let the grass guy cut the grass mm-hmm. yeah they specialize and that's the principle we are bringing today allow us to grow your money build your pipe gold avenue africa has that solution boss faith is saying ah see james i'm so blessed by that guest this is great wisdom please bring him in the evening also or repeat the program at 8 pm i am stuck at the car park god bless you and alan says this is one of my best shows ever please tell me that you have a recording i was driving most of the talk pastor jemo thanks for bringing such valuable people on the show amen wow pipe pipe we need to build pipes build a pipe let gro- gold avenue africa grow your money you deal with your day job and a home what's up what busy and a home una una come june una pega mto ina ukua just do time yeah allow allow an institution to grow your money because investment is about growing value mm. value is about extending a household yeah a household is built by individuals and individuals have to be disciplined mm. Mm. Hey. boss to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how do they get in touch with you because i can see our time is almost up so so number one, uh www.goldavenueafrica is uh, is our site um very important mm-hmm. to mention that again yeah. www.goldavenueafrica uh number two is to give you our our number our number is <clears throat> 0714 9850090714 just to recap on our investment packages mm-hmm. for private investors we have number 1 for minimum 200000 we are able to give a 16% return payable every 12 months for 5 years mm-hmm. for a minimum of a million shillings uh you get six, uh 20% return every payable every 12 months for 5 years so 5 years when they elapse someone can as well renew into a new 5 mm-hmm. years but you don't have to invest for 5 years at the beginning you can choose to say anything above 1 year minimum is 1 year company that is doing a project in Makueni 40 megawatts in four phases of 10 megawatts uh, under the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum number 2 is um, rooftop solar mm-hmm. so we are doing rooftop solar for big commercial companies that has, have a bill above a million shillings and those ones that have a bill above 100,000 shillings Um we are very active at the Nairobi Securities Exchange mm-hmm. in partnership with KCB Capital which is the investment bank of uh KCB Bank and we are glad and grateful to be able to have participants who are both individuals chamas yeah. businesses uh investment clubs couples we've been seeing a lot of couples mm-hmm. come in which is very encouraging because it has to start from the household oh yeah we want we want the wholesome man to benefit mm-hmm. you as a person to be uh at a point of soberness sanness sound mind your family and at the same time the general society wow mm. sk blue thank you very much 
Asante sana. Once again, www.goldavenueafrica.com. Check out the website. And hey, sign up. Sign up to be part of the class of investors. From what you've had today, I can guarantee you, you will not regret it. This will absolutely change your life. Good morning. It's nine o'clock.